Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute not knowing. And now it's time to know. Come on in here and give a hug. So what are the big stories? A big honor for Dionne Warwick. Dionne Warwick is going to be honored at the 46th Annual Kennedy Center Honors. What a night it's going to be with Dionne Warwick, Queen Latifah, Billy Crystal, Barry Gibb, who is the only surviving member of the Bee Gees, and soprano Renee Fleming. The big ceremony is taking place December the 3rd, and Gloria Estefan, who won in 2017, she was honored. She is going to be the host of the evening. This is the weekend for the BET Awards, and people are freaking out. Ain't no host. What's going to happen? Ain't no host. There's no host or audience because of the writer's strike. The writers do all that writing. There's a writer's strike going on. And there'll be no audience because I guess they're just going to be bringing us performance after performance after performance. Now, Drake is leading the nominations along with Glorilla, SZA, Beyonce. I don't know how many of them are showing up, but we're going to have some great entertainment. Busta Rhymes is getting the life Time Achievement Award. Uh, the 50th anniversary of hip hop is going to be celebrated in an amazing way. Some of the performers include the 69 Boys, Big Daddy Kane, Fat Joe, Ja Rule, Kid and Play, MC Light, Remy Ma, Master P, Uncle Luke, Sugar Hill Gang, Yo Yo, just to name a few. But it's going to be like a combination of of the old old school rappers, new school rappers, but they're putting on this presentation at this year's BET Awards. 50th anniversary of hip hop. There are a lot of commemorations that are going on, but BET, this is gonna be the highlight. This and the Busta Rhymes tribute for the BET Awards, but people are literally, I was looking at Twitter and it was like, there's no hopes for the BET Awards. It's going to be okay. One time the Grammys didn't have a host. And I don't think it had anything to do with the writer's strike. But when you remember the year Academy Awards they had no host, I know it's kind of dry. But these musical performances are going to make up for it. Gabrielle Union, her movie is streaming right now. The Perfect Find on Netflix. She plays an older woman, falls in love with a younger man, Keith Powers. He was in the New Edition story. I think he played Ronnie in the New Edition story. She falls in love with this young man, but it's her boss's son. It's called The Perfect Fine. Samuel L. Jackson, how many of you have been tuning into Disney Plus for Secret Invasion? I can't wait to start watching it. It's only six episodes, but how did Nick Fury become Nick Fury? It's our great cast, uh, Olivia Coleman, the Oscar winner, Kingsley Ben Adair. This is a young actor you're going to watch out for. He's a British actor. He played Malcolm X in One Night in Miami. And next January, he is playing Bob Marley in a big screen biopic on his life. But Kingsley Ben Adair plays the new villain. He's got all of these powers and everything. But they round up the cast. And of course, Don Cheadle. Love, love, love him. Keisha Cole, the Keisha Cole story where she is playing herself. It is streaming this weekend on Lifetime. The Paramount Network, they have canceled the game, amongst other shows. I don't know if it has to do with the writer's strike or these shows weren't performing or because they, you know, they try to sell off properties with BET and VH1, but the game has been canceled. What other big things? See, there was so much local stuff. Like where I live, there was a collapse of the I-95 corridor because of a fire. And the temporary um, highway is open and underway. And that's been like the big story everywhere. But it's a very important corridor thoroughfare on the northeast side of the country. But I-95 reopened to much fanfare. There is a weekend edition. Yes, there is. There's a weekend edition. So make sure you check it out. I have a young lady, LaShawna Simon, and she literally 
puts everything together. For those who are like, we want pictures. You get pictures on the weekend edition. And she is the one that puts it all together. I think I went over. No, I did. I left out a story. It's Friday. This is my sixth day. See, my, my week, it starts on Sunday. And on Fridays, my brain is like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start the weekend. I'm ready to go. Big story with Barry Gordy, who was suing the makers of the motion picture Spinning Gold. Came out earlier this year. The story of Casablanca Records and Neil Bogart, a small record company that produced giants. Everything from, or everybody from... Donna Summer, the Parliament, the Village People, the rock band Kiss. Well, Barry Gordy says that he did not like how he was portrayed in this movie. He says, I am not a thug. Now, Barry Gordy, who's in his 90s, you got to be a tough man to start a, a record label like Motown and everything you had to deal with. But Barry Gordy is mad about it and he is suing uh, the makers of this movie for $10 million. And what's funny, I enjoyed the movie, but it didn't even, I don't think it made $10 million at the box office. So I don't know where the money coming from, but Barry Gordy is suing. I think we went over everything. Buster Rhymes, big honor for him at the BET Awards. And Auntie Dion, Dion Warwick, finally getting a Kennedy Center honor. This is going to be good. Have a great weekend, everybody. It's not cute not knowing. Watch out for the weekend edition. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. And leave a comment because Auntie would love to hear from you. It's not cute not knowing. And now you know, I'm Patty Jackson. I am your Auntie of Pop Culture.